Sussex's career closed in US. Americans decided to separate with destructive couple for fatigue. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex said they left their lives as working royals to become financially independent. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry could be facing fatigue in the US audience they're attempting to cultivate away from the royal family. Professor Selle Oatness has suggested that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are likely laying low as they catch up on their lives in the US. I don't think Americans care that much about their brand adding, this is likely heightened by their lack of connection to the royal family. She continued, We Americans might all be experiencing a bit of fatigue with the royal family, after all the Queen's coverage recently. Professor Otnis then suggested that economic woes, the fast approaching midterm elections, and concerns over Vladimir Putin will likely take precedence over thoughts on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Professor Pauline McLaren of Royal Holloway University of London also told that there were indicators of distance between the Sussexes and the royal family, even during displays of unity in the mourning period for the Queen. She said, The Duke and Duchess appeared to be very much on the sidelines of royal events, and they disappeared very quickly after. Royal insiders claim Harry and Meghan have always steered clear of criticising the Queen out of respect for her. But now they're keen on making changes to both the memoir and TV series due to being overly critical to King Charles and the Queen consort, which could end any chance of reconciliation. However, the plan won't happen until Harry's upcoming memoir is published and the couple's Netflix docuseries is released. Royal commentators have claimed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are living in a celebrity fishbowl and should relocate to somewhere more remote if they want more privacy. According to Montecito locals, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry could be hunting for a new house. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are reportedly considering moving out of their £11 million mansion they bought months after relocating to the US. While the Sussexes have not commented on their potential move, it is believed the couple are looking for more privacy as their neighbourhood experiences witness property crime. Meghan and Harry are considering leaving their nine-bedroom home and relocating to a nearby neighbourhood that has a collection of multi-million dollar mansions with miles of horse trails and a private beach. Royal commentators have questioned why the Duke and Duchess are choosing to live in California, known to be a hotspot for celebrities, if privacy and security are areas of concern. The hosts, Christine Ross and Christina Garibaldi, discussed the Sussexes' potential move on this week's episode of their podcast. But Miss Garibaldi argued that California might not be the place for the couple and suggested they move somewhere a little bit more remote. She said, It seems like they're shopping for a very private estate in Hope Ranch in California and that they've determined that this Montecito mansion doesn't properly accommodate them. Maybe they want more privacy. Maybe they're looking for something a little bit bigger. Maybe they don't like the neighbours. Miss Ross raised the Sussex's concerns surrounding security, saying there have been lots of discussions about calls to the police and lots of concerns over their safety and privacy. But that neighbourhood is so full of other celebrities that maybe it is really easy for paparazzi to be wandering around and people wondering, hoping to catch a glimpse. They just feel a bit unsafe and it's kind of a fishbowl. I think that the new house that they might be shopping for could be a bit more isolated, not as close to as many big celebrities and just giving them a bit more privacy. Miss Garibaldi argued, but then maybe move out of California and go a little bit more remote if you want that ultra-private life. Maybe California is not the place for you.